Have you ever been in a pickle? Or come across signs left by hobos during the Great Depression, warning one another about aggressive dogs and policemen? Then you have encountered an ancient language of the road, spoken by vagrants and refugees, merchants and thieves since the European Middle Ages. Scholar Martin Puchner was inducted into this secret code by his uncle. What began as a youthful infatuation suddenly turned dark during his studies at Harvard University. I was sitting in Widener Library, procrastinating, when I thought, why not look up my grandfather, a historian of names, see whether the library has any of his stuff. I went to the card catalog, which led me deep into the stacks of the library. And that's where I discovered it, a terrible anti-Semitic tract about Jewish names written by my grandfather. I was completely shocked and also puzzled because the article attacked a secret language called Rotwelsch that I had learned to love as a child, a language my father and my uncle had been strangely obsessed with their entire lives. The discovery brought him face to face with family secrets, the Nazi campaign against foreign words, and ultimately to today's America, interweaving family memoir with scholarship and an adventurous foray into the politics of language, Puchner finds in the mysterious language of Thebes a spirit of tolerance, resourcefulness, and wit that remains essential today. <laughs>